Okay, uh, so let's talk about the uh, geographic coordinate system. Uh, so GCS. Uh, so geographic coordination system is based on the three dimension models of the Earth, so the ellipsoid. So basically, we have um, a set of numbers that can specify the locations uh, on the Earth. Uh, so normally, uh, we have a number that represents the vertical position. Okay, so the vertical position, and also we have another number number that represent uh, the horizontal position. So once we have vertical, and also we have horizontal, and we can identify the location uh, of a single place. Um, it is optional that we can have the third number that represent the height or the elevation. And also we have we know that the two numbers or three numbers, so x and y. So we can now we can have a two-dimension map where we have those coordinates. So and also we have x and y. So one represent corresponding corresponding to the vertical position on the earth, and also another one is corresponding to the uh, horizontal position on the earth. Okay, so that's the one way that how we can identify locations on the on the map. So specifically, we know that one is called latitude. Okay, so that is one from the uh, north ninety to south ninety. Okay, so north ninety to south ninety. Um, and another one is called longitude. Okay, so that is from zero to east one hundred and eighty, or zero to the uh, west one hundred and eighty. Okay, uh, so any uh, position on the Earth that can be represented by a pair of those two numbers, so latitude and longitude, and also you can include a third number which is the elevation. Okay, uh, so that is the GCS. Uh, PCS, so that, that is the second type of the coordination system, uh, so a map projection or the projected um, coordination system that is a process that actually uh, we convert uh, we're going to convert the three dimension um, of the globe into two dimension map uh, but the process is that it's, it's it's more like that we convert that one by using a set of the mathematic uh, calculation uh, so you can see that here we have 3d uh, earth and for any location that on this 3D, so the place on the 3D dimension that will be converted into onto this two dimension map. Okay, uh, so through this process, we know that the uh, uh, the place will be distorted on this two dimension. So it will no longer be the true shape, either the, the shape uh, on the Earth, or the true size on the Earth, or even the angles. So you see, the angles, so the spatial relation. So there will be some distortions. Um, but that is fine. So uh, we have to accept uh, those um, distortions. Um, so and then we have to choose the right PCS that we want to minimize the distortions. Okay, uh, so the map projection, so you can think about that the Earth in this three dimension, uh, we put a bubble, so that is the process of project. So we put a bubble inside of this Earth, and then here, so that is still a 3D, and here we have 2D map, okay, this 2D map, and we use this 2D map um, to cover on uh, uh, this globe and uh, so we, we, we like to build a wall around this 3D uh, uh, globe and then we turn on this bubble so the bubble will send out the light and the light will project all the locations um, on the earth to this 2D uh, map and then we have those maps okay 
So that is the idea that how we can make map projections. And of course, there will be distortions. Okay, so there will be distortions. Um, there are three types of the surfaces that so the, the three types of the walls that we can build around the globe. And remember that it's not all places have distortions. So that is the surface, that is the part that where the surface, so you can choose different type of the surface and also you can decide how you want to um, touch cart the, the globe. So the, the, the part that touch the, the globe, okay, so those are right places. So those are right places that has the least distortion. Okay, so not all the places have the same amount of the distortion. The place that uh, touch the surface has the least uh, distortion. So for example, the first one, so if you have a plan, plate that touch the surface, okay? Uh, this is called the planary surface, or uh, it is also called, um, I'm trying to pronounce this one right, so as muso surface, that is where, so the, the pools, so north pools or the south pools have the least distortions. For the second type of the projection surface, so that this is a cylindrical uh, surface, so that is where the place that around the equators that will have the least distortions. Um, the last one is called conic surface. So that is where uh, so the place in that in the middle latitude. Okay, so in the middle latitude, so the places that in the middle latitude will have the least distortions. The reason we want uh, we have this one is because. Uh, most countries are located in the middle latitude regions, like United States um, and also other countries. Okay, so that means that although there are distortions, if you choose the right surface, then you will reduce the distortion. Okay, so you have to choose the right surface that fit best with your start area. Um, in addition to the different type of the surface, we also have uh, different um, uh, families that, so based on what kind of unique feature you want to preserve. So we have distortions, but uh, we can keep some features as true. So for example, the equidistance uh, projection system can preserve the great circle distance to be true. Okay, so if distance is a key feature that in your project, then you can choose this type of the projection. Um, we have conformal projection system. So that means the angles and all the shapes uh, will be true, will be pre preserved. However, the distance or the area relationship might not, might be distorted. Uh, we also have the equal area uh, area area uh, projection system so where the area relationship of all parts are maintained so that again so uh, in addition to choose the right surface you can also choose the right feature that you want to preserve to reduce the distortion so the key feature of choosing TCS is that reduce the distortion okay uh, so here this is uh, a uh, table that shows some different type of the projection system families. Uh, you don't need to remember this table. I don't remember this table, but I just want to give you some example that hopefully the, now if you look at the projection systems, it will make sense. So for example, if you look at the large country, countries in the middle latitudes, so a lot of countries are located in this range. Uh, if you look at so some projections that are suitable for United States. We can see that by some of the Lambert conformal conic projection system. So the Lambert is the mathematic model that used uh, on the mathematic calculations that used in this projection system. 
conformal means that we want to preserve angles and shapes and conic, so that is the surface time because uh, US is located in the middle latitude. 